Hi guys, how are you? Love you. Good afternoon or early evening or whatever. We're just here and we are going to do a little hair tutorial. We're going to I'm going to show you um exactly how I do my hair. Um, when I am doing my own hair. I know, again, that sounds so weird, but sometimes I do have people do my hair for me. Um, that said, I have spent many, many years going on TV and uh, doing lots of different, you know, shows and what have you, and I always have to know how to do my hair. There is nothing worse. I have to say um, I'm grateful that I know how to do. That said, don't get excited. I can't do a million things. I, I try. I do lots of different, um, you know, I can do a good bun. I'm going to do all my hair things for you eventually on these channels. I will do every one of the things I know how to do and I'm going to try to learn more for you. But for now, I'm going to show you my go-to look. This is my go-to hair look. I've already started it on this side of my head, as you can see. We're gonna talk about products and we're gonna talk about what we used. But see, this is that sort of wavy, beachy, loose hair thing that I do often. Uh, I missed that piece, there you go. Um, but I will tell you that um, I can do this in my sleep in the middle of the night at QVC if I have to because I had to learn. Okay, so let's get to work because I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it and I'm gonna do it live and I could talk all day. So first and foremost, this is my hair on this side, washed last night, went to sleep with my hair wet, and then um, woke up with it looking crazy and it is dyed and this is all my hair. Thank you, Jesus Lord. It's a whole conversation. Um, but, um, and fried a little bit, let's be honest. Look at the ends, we obviously dye it. We have a lot of stuff going on. I have a great girl, Nicole, who does my hair color uh, and we try to always protect the hair, but let's be honest, when you're bleaching black hair, this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, so when my hair was wet, I did two products in it, okay? And I do mix it up, but right now, these are the ones that I'm using. I'm using the Kiehl's Smoothing Oil Infused Leave-In Concentrate, which is this one right here. There you go. I put that in, and then I put in the Whey Hair Oil. This is the uh, first hair oil. This is not the Rose Hair Oil. This is the hair oil, I think, that came that she came out first, Jen Atkin came out first. So I love those two. I went to sleep with it wet. I know that's bad. I did sleep on my silk pillowcase, my slip pillowcase, which I love. And then I woke up with it looking crazy and I worked all day. Now, let's get to work. So this is what we're kind of going for. Again, that sort of smooth, beachy, wavy idea, okay? Um, I do try to use, I'm not gonna lie, I don't always use a heat protectant. I know I'm poster. I know I'm supposed to use it because my hair is fried, but I'm not gonna lie because I don't lie here, I don't always use it. But today I did. I used this Wella Professionals Thermal Image. My girl Nicole gave this to me and she said, use it, this thing. So I do. So what I did was, I, you're, I think you're supposed to spray it on each individual piece. Mama ain't got the time for that. I am lazy, um, I have to admit, when it comes to my hair. So I just spray the kind of the whole shebang and I let it kind of dry, kind of wave it out, give it a little bit of, you know, give a little love. I'm gonna finish this side, I wanted to show you when we're at the end, I'll show you how we do the front pieces because they're a little bit different. Not really. It's kind of all the same. Um, it's really easy. That's the best part. Okay, I'm going to be using this Hot Tools. This is a Hot Tools um, curling iron. I believe it's an inch and a half. I'm going to say it's an inch and a half. It is ceramic, I believe, and I've had it for about four million years. So it's a great one. I also do use though um, the Beach Waver by Sarah Potempa. I love the Beach Waver. I think that's a great, great tool and I love it. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. So I part the hair in the back. I part it straight down the back, okay? I don't know if you can see. All right, straight down the back and I usually start with like half and half, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the back piece right here 
And again, I'm just gonna be honest because this is what we do, all right? My hair is fried, my hair is broken, my hair has many different lengths. Um, it is what it is, but you know, I kind of just live with it and I call it, you know, it has personality. So I start in the middle and it's kind of hard to see here, but when we get closer to the front, I start in the middle and then, oops, it got loose. Told y'all I'm not a professional, okay? They tried, they tried when I first started as a makeup artist, there you go. Now, and I don't always curl it all the way to the end. That was kind of a boo-boo, so we'll talk about that. When I first started as a makeup artist years and years and years ago, 20-something years ago, it was funny because they did want you to try and do hair and makeup, and nails, actually, hair, makeup, and nails. And I, while I loved the makeup and I had passion for makeup, um, and I could bust that makeup out, I did not love doing the hair. I like doing hair. I don't love doing hair. And I feel like if you don't love it, then you have to, um, you're not always gonna be great at it. So I was never great at it. Okay, so there's that. And then you, I kinda let it cool, and I kinda throw it back there. Okay, very quickly, I wanna talk about this. I I'm, I'm kind of at a high temperature here. I don't think I'm supposed to be this high with dyed hair. It's at about 380, and I don't think that that's right, but it is what it is. So if my hair starts burning off, I apologize. I don't want to um, traumatize you forever, but you know, it might happen. Okay, so now what I'm doing is again, I'm taking each of these pieces, I'm using my hands. If there are knots in the hair, okay, kind of like comb it through with my fingers, but if not, I take my Mason Pearson hairbrush and I kind of brush it through, okay. And as you can see, so this is the thing about it. So like if your hair is as fried as mine is, and my hair is fried, it is what it is. I do um, like the fact that I think it's the ceramic. I could be wrong. If there's any of my friends that are hairstylists that are watching, I really think that this curling iron does kind of smooth it out a little bit and make it shiny. So you see how I start in the middle and then I kind of, continue to twist it up and then I let a little out and then I twist it up again. So I start in the middle and then you see how I leave these ends out right here so they're a little bit straighter? That would be the best. Um, that's when you try to not curl those ends and you kind of leave it sort of straight, okay? Yeah, that's hot. That is some hot hair, hot. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it, and then again, I just kind of throw it back there, and I'm just gonna keep on trucking. All right, and again, this one has some, some knots in it, and I try to be as careful as possible. I am very, very, um, what is the word? I'm sensitive about my hair falling or breaking, uh, falling out or breaking, I guess we all are, but I had alopecia terribly, for many, many years, I was bald in a lot of areas of my head. So that's why I'm very sensitive. You think I wouldn't dye it, but you know, honey, you only live once. So then um, I take that. And then again, I just keep taking these pieces. I try not to hold it too long uh, as I keep talking. Um, I do try to hold it not too long because the heat is a little high. I could probably, probably do just as well if I turn the heat down a little bit, but I'm, I'm not, but tr tr maybe you should, maybe you should do as I say, not as I do. That's what I say. God bless you. All right. So I'm brushing. Someone just asked, why is it so quiet? Where's film the girls? I have two very good girls who are sitting here very, very quietly. Hello. Hi. <laughs> that dog back there. And then there's a dog chewing on bones. Okay. No, so again, no, I think Oh, she's licking her butt. Oh, geez. All right. All right. This is what we were going to try to avoid during the live video was grossness. Because grossness happens. All right. So we're just going to keep on going. And again, these pieces are sort of out here. Okay. And I'm going to try to start hustling. Because again, I want to show you how we do the front. And you can alternate 
the sizes of the actual um, of the, the the chunks or the the pieces, if you will, you can alternate them and like do some a little bit thicker, do some a little bit thinner. But do you see what I'm doing? How I'm kind of starting in the middle. I pull out, I curl. I pull out, I curl. It's kind of funny. I think I curl my eyelashes a little bit like this as well, where I start at the base, squeeze, come out a little bit. I don't use any heat tools. Uh, well, you know what? I tried that. Actually, don't, I'm good. you know what? I'm gonna do a video on that. There's another way I curl my hair that I don't use heat. And I'm gonna talk to you about that another day. Oh, ch see, this is where I get scared. Okay, see, it got stuck. It got stuck, oh God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that's where I panic. Okay, guys, what just happened is literally one of my worst nightmares. It gets all tangled up in it, and then I can't get the hair out, and I panic because I'm afraid it's gonna burn off like that video from years ago where the little girl burned her hair and it broke off and she was shocked. Okay, so that's what happens, and that's where I panic because it does sometimes get, when I'm not paying attention, it gets a little caught up in the barrel. Okay, you see, yeah, I think I burned a little bit. Okay, so that's why we'd be careful. I know, guys, it's it ain't easy. It is nerve-wracking living on the edge of burned hair, fried hair, and hot hot tools, I'm telling you. Okay, so let's go quickly. Why do I do it? Because I'm addicted to wavy hair. Because I like it. I like straight hair, too. We're going to do that another time, too. We have lots of videos. Um, some uh, Onyx Moon just said, how long does the curl last? Well, lucky for me, my hair is so damaged <laughs> that my curls will pretty much stay. If I didn't wash it, they'll stay for a good few days. Okay, so there we go. All right, let's keep on trucking. Whew, that gave me a little anxiety. Okay, so now... We're gonna take that, and these pieces are a little bit smaller. I have to pay closer attention. So you see how I kind of flatten it out? Almost like a flat iron. I don't use flat irons, but I take it like this. Or let, shall I say, I don't use flat irons. I haven't used flat irons in a while. I did in the past, I'm sure. Okay, so now when you get to the front, um, I kind of try to start. So you see these pieces here, guys? These are the, that's the breakage. So these are the broken parts. So the idea for these is I kind of try to, if I can't get them up into this long piece here, I'll go back and get those. But so you go in and then I kind of just do a little bit of a, like that, and then I kind of try to do it quickly. Again, because these are really, so you see that? And they look kind of shiny, right? Okay, let me do this side. Okay, so this one I did not do. So we're gonna do this piece. And then what happens is, after I do my whole head, what I will often do is just kind of go through and take a look around and I almost burned my face. How frightening would that have been if I burned my face right here live with you? Because I know I would have made a face that would have not been cute. And it would become a meme. You think it would become a meme? It probably would have become a meme. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so there we go. So these are, It's again, it's not perfect, guys, but again, I'm just kind of trying to give you. Here's another thing. There is a school of thought that some people curl some back and some forward, some back or some forward, and they alternate. That is absolutely the case. I've had incredible stylists do my hair that do that. Um, but what, like I said, this is my go-to. This is my quick go-to hairdo, no thinking necessary. Oh geez, my necklaces are tangled, okay. This is my go-to. This is the reason why I will oftentimes just do this. Okay. Once she cools down, and let me show you. Hold on. Move this chair. So I'm going to stand up. Don't look at my dirty laundry. So you see? So this is what it looks like. I'm going to turn around. 
And that's what it looks like in the back. Do you, do you see it? I can't tell. Okay. So now, what I do now is, okay, so see how you see some of the ends are a little straighter? That's kind of like the look. Now listen, that's something that I learned because trust me when I tell you, I am an 80s girl and I will curl this whole sucker like nobody's business. And I have no problem with looking like I have a Filipino fro, all right, because I am a curly girl. All right, now, um, I love all kinds of hairspray. Again, we said that I was an 80s girl, not even playing, big time. Um, right now, I love the Serge Normand, Serge Normand, who's a great friend of mine who I love, the Metalux hairspray, love that. Of course, the Orbe, the super fine, this one I love, but um, I love hairspray. You know, hashtag Filipino Pro, that's right. So then what I will do, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, what I kinda like to do is I shake it out first and then I kinda just spray it like that. Mmm, smells good. The one thing I will say about hairspray is it has to smell delicious. You know, has to smell like a beautiful scent. Makes me happy. All right, so that's that. And then, again, because my hair is slightly on the damaged side, it will stay looking like this probably for a while. Um, that's one of the plus sides, um, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, if it starts to feel a little bit dry, I'll take a little bit more of my whey oil, or I'll take this, and let's just do it for fun some of the oil. Let's take the whey oil. I'll just put one uh, squirt in my hand, rub it together, and then especially on the ends. I'll just kind of work the ends out. See this bump there? I don't like that. So I'm gonna go back and fix it. Wanna do it now? Let's just do it now. Let's do it now. If you don't wanna watch it, you can just go to the end of the video. But that's actually a good point. If you see something that you don't love, Again, see, so right here, I feel like this piece looks like there's a bump in it or like a wave in it. What I'll do is I'll take the top layer. Again, please, if you are a hairstylist and you're watching this and we work together and you're like, girl, why are you giving them bad info? Guys, I'm just trying to tell them again what my easy go-to and I'm a busy mom of three little girls and sometimes I can't make it perfect I just want to get it done all right so there's the hair there's that top piece that had that dent in it from my scrunchie so I'm gonna take it okay and I'm gonna start right here at the top I'm gonna go in and just do that same kind of twisting trail and I'm only gonna go like right there, and I'll just leave those pieces, okay? I didn't tell you that I was gonna tell you exactly the perfect way to do it, all right? I just told you this is a beauty hack. All right, there you go, that's better. So let it cool, let it cool her down, and then you'll shake it out, all right? Did I get a keratin done? No, I did not. Ah, so anyway, that's a wrap, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today on my kind of like first real hair tutorial video. There's lots of new videos that I'm gonna be doing very soon. Lots of skincare, lots of hair stuff, lots of makeup, of course, and of course, every single day, your Mally Morning Minutes, your positivity preacher. Thank you so much for joining me every single day. I love you more than words can say. Um, if you like this video, you know what you got to say on the YouTube. Give me a little love, give me a thumbs up, and just subscribe or follow, and I'll always be here to love on you and hopefully bring you lots of beauty and positivity. Thank you so much, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Love you. And now I'm going to press all the buttons. Bye-bye.